In this video, we're going to take a quick look at some of the new features in the V19 software for the Memory Palace. There will be a more in-depth tutorial video coming in the future, but for today we just want to explore three simple patches. One of the most exciting new features is the ability to load in image sequences, which gives you the possibility of playing back short video loops. So as you can see, I'm only using the Memory Palace for this patch. I have it set to paint mode, and I have a media file loaded. This media file is a 64-frame looping animation. If I move the delay slider, you can see it's scrubbing through the time. I'm going to turn the colorize button on so we can see a little bit more clearly what's going on. So you can see it's changing color now. And as I move the delay slider, it goes through that sequence. So this is a very cool way to load animations. It's also a great way to cycle through different stills quickly without having to go back to the media menu. If I push the AB button, it'll automatically cycle through the stills. And now the delay slider controls the speed. If I turn my X scrolling on, and start to make this guy actually run. And if I adjust my key and controls, maybe turn the softness all the way up so we get a little bit more of a faded effect. Adjust my center controls here to get the keying where I want it. And maybe increase saturation and contrast a little bit. And then again, using the delay slider, I can speed it up, slow it down. So that's just a quick look at working with looping animated images in the Memory Palace. Another very cool new feature of V19 software is the ability to distort an image based on external input signals. So again, I have a simple looping animation, and in my menu, I set the unit so that the alpha and aux inputs are used to displace the X and Y vertex mesh. You can imagine your video image now almost like a piece of fabric that you can pull in different directions. So I have a vertical output from the diver going into the aux control, and this will start to do some Y displacement as I start to turn it up. There you go. And you can control how much or how little of that you want by using a combination of the slider and the little input knob. So we start to get some cool drippy things going on. And then the alpha input, we're going to control the X displacement. So I have a prismatic ray plugged in. I have the multiply turn, so it's basically just at zero. And as I start to increase the amplitude of that signal, we start to get some displacement. And we can adjust the frequency here, so we can get really pretty far out. You might have to find it, you need to recenter your image. I have tiling turned on to make this a little easier to see. So maybe we'll do just a little bit. So that's a brief look at the new mesh displacement features in the Memory Palace. In this last example, we're going to look at one of the infinite possibilities you can achieve when combining the Memory Palace, Diver, and Escher sketch into a complete Orion system. So in this case, I have three ramp outputs from my Diver going into the red, green, and blue channels. That's going to give me some color information. I'm then using the internal media loader to key that information, so it's that running man again. And then I have a fourth output from Diver going into the aux input to control some mesh displacement. To add a little extra fun, I took one of the outputs from the Memory Palace and put it back into the wave input on the diver. This should give us another level of feedback in our textures. And finally, I have the Escher sketch controlling the zoom and rotation. So with just a touch on the Escher sketch, I can get this figure zooming into different dimensions. 
course, I can adjust my smoothing control so I can make this faster, jerkier movements if I wish. But I like them to be pretty smooth. You turn it all the way up, you get these really nice slow transitions between things. So you can see that color information coming in from the diver, the mesh displacement also coming from the diver, and just a little bit of feedback going back into that diver pattern. And of course, you can play with your different keying levels. So there you see just what the diver's outputting. And you can play with some softness. This is really cool because you can see that shape of the running man. And you can imagine all the different possibilities there are by loading in different types of images. So that should give you an idea of some of the exciting new features in the V19 software from Memory Palace. In the near future, we'll be releasing a more comprehensive overview, but hopefully this gives you enough of a taste to get excited about some of the new possibilities. Memory Palace was already one of the most powerful and interesting video processing devices ever created, but the new features in V19 take that to a totally new level. We're really excited about the creative possibilities in here and can't wait to see what you come up with. Thanks for watching, and as always, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below.